upgraded to Vista yet. Just the bad things I've heard about it. Today, I'm going to show you Linda's Mojave. Well, that looked pretty simple. I'm actually blown away. I'm thinking I'd like to have this. Actually, this is Vista. Really? Hey, babe. Hey, babe. What are you doing? Packing. We're moving next week, Will. Uh, we're not moving to court. Yourself is moving to Wednesdays. Yeah. Wanna hang some shelves? Yeah. Upon the request of a few forum members, this week we're focusing on DIY shelves. We recommend starting off with some cool vintage brackets. This simple detail upgrades your shelves from busted to beautiful. Take your first bracket and position it where you want it on the wall. Then screw it in with a screwdriver or electric drill. Now take your shelf piece and position it with one end on the bracket that you've already secured into the wall. Use a level to make sure the shelf is straight. Hold up the other bracket and mark with a pen where it needs to be screwed in. Now you can put the shelf back down and screw the second bracket into the wall. Once you've screwed the second bracket in, place your shelf on top and align it to make sure it is centered. Use a measuring tape to evenly space out your shelves. Keep measuring from side to side for a symmetrical level shelf set. Add your books and voila! You've got an instant book nook. Think outside the box with wall storage by using unique pieces as your new shelves. A wooden wine box or an antique type drawer works very well. Look at this incredible piece we found. An antique radio was converted into shelves and now stores our DVD collection. Make your own picture ledge with a simple piece of painted wood. Place your photos on it and rotate them often. The key placement of this shelf got a dozen pairs of Meg's shoes off the floor of her closet. Don't move. We'll be right back. Here on Threadbanger, we're giving away a brand new Janome sewing machine so that you can make your own damn clothing. That's right, and all you gotta do is upload a video telling us how much you want one, and you're on your way to a greener tomorrow. So after the show, check out Threadbanger.com for your chance to win. See you there! First, cut two pieces of fabric. The main piece should measure 12 inches by 32 inches and the pocket piece needs to be 12 inches by 8 inches. Finish the top edge of the pocket piece, fold one end of the main piece under 5 eighths of an inch, and then another 2 inches and stitch it in place. Pin your pocket piece to the front of the other end of the main piece. Finish two of the three edges, being sure to leave one end of the 2 inch fold open. Fill the 2 inch fold with rice. Continue to finish the edges and fold and stitch all three edges under 5 eighths of an inch. Divide the pocket into sections. Hang your handy new remote control organizer over the armrest of your favorite couch or chair. And now your remotes will be organized and close at hand. This week's quick tip, add vintage contact paper to a plain white shelf to make it go from crappy to classy. Don't forget, from now on, to court yourself is on Wednesdays. So until next Wednesday, remember, remember your, your nest, nest needs you. you.